I have to learn how to edit. So, um, I'm Hillary. You can see that I've cut my hair yet again. It's even shorter. Um, it's just uh, what I had to do. Uh, the neck pressure was... The neck pain was really, really bad. And the stabbing was really, really bad. It's still really bad. Um, right in the, in the back of my skull, into my neck. And uh, I wore the collar, the Aspen Vista, for two weeks and then um another three week or another four weeks um and something just clicked into place one day and I felt a lot better now I mean my I've not been wearing it now for two weeks and my neck's moving around every time I move and frequently having to be adjusted throughout the day again like in previous videos that um actually I haven't posted there's a lot of videos I created and didn't post over the last um six to eight months but um I've been trying to get help. I've seen a lot of different practitioners and specialists, and I've been denied quite a few times. Um, I'm really being beaten down with insurance. It's really a battle um, trying to get them to approve um, therapies and appointments and um, bracing, and I need bracing. At this point, I realize that um, I'm going to be living in and out of braces for the rest of my life, and they're what work for me. Medicines don't really work. I'm not on any any pharmaceuticals. I do use cannabis um, to help with the pain, to manage the pain, and to allow me to move around. Um, I stopped for three, three and a half months. Uh, trying it sporadically throughout, but it was really causing more issues, more pain and problems with my head, but um, with the weather changing and us getting through the final bit of our winter, our cold, dry winter, um, I've, uh, the head pressure has really gone away. I'm, I can see better without, I mean, I can see better without my glasses. I can see better with my glasses, but I can actually have my eyes open, um, with light and with sunlight and I'm going out and I'm, um, able to do some gardening. Like I'm touching this really sore spot. It's just really tender in my neck and that bolt, like that bottom of your skull there on the left, it's just my whole left side, my shoulder is still really freaky. Um, I tried to explain to the orthopedic, but she was just focusing on my spine. I managed to finagle getting my MRIs done by different practitioners. I've had a like pull cervical spine MRI out of one and pull a lumbar spine out of another one and they're just really being, um, they want to help some of them, but others don't feel like that's their ground, so they can't really do that. I really thought the geneticist was going to be more involved in helping, but, um, maybe I shouldn't have been blasting his name everywhere so much and saying how great he is. He really is fantastic, and I hope everyone can get help, but that just means that there's less time to focus on the patients that he does have. Um, like he is managing his own office and doing all of his own work and everything, and he, and he focuses a lot on the patients, a lot on their, um, on what they're dealing with, but there's still no answer for EDS. And so, um, I'm having my shoulder sensitivity. I really can't have the strap on there. Um, I did manage to buy some sweaters and do some things for the winter, but winter was really hard on me this year. It was probably the worst winter, um, I've ever experienced with my, with my body. I mean, I think that sometimes when the jaw acted up a couple years ago, that was really awful, but this was not just the jaw and headaches or just the back and the knees. It was one elbow went and then two weeks later another elbow went and then I would do my morning routine and I would get on the floor and I would move my back around and I'd feel better but it would be constantly readjusting like within every hour I had to keep readjusting my neck and my back and my shoulder and my my ankles were causing problems and my knees have been issues for many many years and um, the things that I've had the longest are actually not the things that concern me the most. Um, I feel like I've probably had a headache since I was a child. Um, Tylenol and all that, my parents gave me to go to sleep because I had a headache and it never really resolved. I think it's just something I've gotten used to. I think that, you know, I always used to say that, um, you know, I'm very sensitive. I'm very sensitive to pain and tickling and, and, and um, piercings. I had an earring that got stuck between my earlobes when I got 
a piercing with the gun and I never went for another one after that. It was just too problematic. But, um, and I'm just getting off on a, like a, a, a tangent like I always do and I've changed my time limit so I'm not even stuck at 10 minutes so I'll have to learn to do some cutting. I have terrible, terrible posture. I don't, my, I, my posture sitting up makes my elbow, my shoulder wants to do that so I have to pull it back and then I feel my spine snap all the way down. I'm really hoarse right now and I, <clears throat> I wasn't so hoarse earlier. Actually, my throat is starting to feel kind of tiny. I had a couple strawberries from my garden and I've been staying away from strawberries for a while because of the histamine. And I took a shower today um, for the hot water. It's really all hot water. Um, but the, for the first time in, since I had a horrible rash up here a few months ago, I stopped using soap. Um, my Dr. Bronner's and I did today I had that and the, and the um, two strawberries and maybe just over excitement I'm feeling a lot of um, tightness in my throat and I can hear it when I'm talking and there's some stri strain in my neck I was living in my collar which should have been right over here but I don't see it I had a so I told you I had my MRIs done. I, I finally got the CT done. I met the most amazing doctor. He's a radiologist in Maryland. I actually didn't meet him. I, I called his office and I harassed the people and I said, get me, you know, one of the radiologists who's willing to talk to one of my radiologists. And he was so kind and willing to do it. And it's my radiologists that are having this ego problem. They don't want um, to call someone to for a reading. They don't feel like that's necessary. So I've tried a few times and I was going to try again and now the weeks have gone by because things have come up and time just escapes you and and life just keeps going. But I'm just so thankful for the sunshine and the warmth and I'm getting out every day for even just a few minutes or sometimes I can't get out that one day but I'll go on the porch for just a minute. And um, I'm I'm tending to my garden. I'm really hoping I'll be able to manage it this year. It was really problematic last year. I, I was so excited. I was watching them grow and then I watched them die because I was not in good shape um, with my foot and with other issues that were happening. And, and I'm happy that things seem to resolve, but then, you know, they come back and, um, but I'm always so scared when something happens, like when my foot was going bad last summer and, and into the fall, and um, I stretched down to, to do, I used to, every morning I would do stretches, and I would stretch out my back, and I would feel all those vertebrae move, and now I've stopped doing that, so I feel much stiffer, but um, I think that doing that stretching was actually causing me a lot more back pain, but the other day I did that, I did that motion, um, it felt good to do the opening and then I was in a lot of pain and then I was doing a lot of bending over for several days. I was working on my composting and um, just trying to get my garden together with worms and compost and vermicompost and sunshine and uh, rainwater and it's it's a good little tiny garden but now my only good fruit, my only good thing growing is strawberries and I don't know if it's something I can continue to have. I'm thinking about cutting it up and um, replanting them to give to friends or something like that. I think that would be good because I don't know if I want to keep putting my energy into something that I may not be able to have but um anyway I just I wore the collar the collar helped dramatically now it started causing a lot of back pain so I stopped with the collar I have been off of it for a couple weeks while I stopped while I was weaning myself off the collar I started weaning myself back onto the cannabis so I'm kind of back in this middle ground of um it's helping it's not really hurting now, which is really, I'm um, thank God, I really was just, I was, I would try it, and then when it would hurt, I would just be like, nope, but I wouldn't do it again for like two, three weeks, and so now I'm able to use it again, I do use it daily, um, I do use it multi-daily, it's really the only thing I know how to take the edge off of, I've tried oxycodone, it gave me horrible headaches, I got, and stomach pain, horrible, horrible stomach pain, and oxycodone make me very, or hydrocodone make me very, very, very nauseous, um, Tramadol, which I just tried. I have a second GP who my first GP doesn't really know about, but he seemed okay with me doing something like that. So, um, I, uh, went to him for the most recent back problem. I could not move without screaming in pain. Um, any little side to side movement or getting up and down, I, my back would lock. It was horrible. And he said I was having muscle spasms, back spasms, and, um, gave me tramadol, which I, after three days, I finally said I would take it, 
back pain was starting to get better, but the trauma world had no effect on me. I may be a tiny bit drowsy, but, um, I think that was just from my really long day. And I haven't taken it again since because it didn't feel like it did anything for the pain, although I did have a, a, a decent morning that could have been for my routine. I've been using a combination of cannabis tincture with arnica gel or arnica oil birch oil peppermint lavender chamomile mixed all together i need to get some of this other really hard to pronounce stuff and um the oils really help because it's directly onto the skin i've tried some rick simpson oil um vaporizing was not working for me i the only way i can do it smoking was really difficult and i have to be really careful not to cough or i do cause more neck problems but head problems but um, is to have a piece that has a tilt at the top and is water has water. It's a, like a bubbler or um, a water pipe that has um, that you don't have to put your head down onto or tilt like tilt the thing that it's got a tilted top. And I have something like it, but it's too small and not easy to clean and um, it has been problematic. But it's still the best option I have right now. And I don't even smoke real bud. I I use. Um, the leafy stuff for more of the CBDs, although I know I'm burning it up and I have to make some tinctures and you know what, most of these videos are just for me anyway, I doubt I post them and if I do, that's great, I don't know if any of my information helps anyone else, I look ridiculous, I have to like keep my shoulder unexposed and this is actually one of my not prettiest, um, <laughs> I've made a lot of different creative stuff and this was just me being lazy and I, I decided to do that but I wanted to have something, I've looked worse on some of these videos but and I'm on a yoga ball because I a friend of mine um Kelly Cap, who's been in the news uh, a few different places for her surgery um told me about using this the yoga ball and and working on posture with it and I have a a PT that just wants to my back just did a bunch of snapping like I just it doesn't feel stable my vertebrae don't feel stable throughout my entire spine my neck included my lumbar spine I know I have mild scoliosis and moderate degenerative disc disease at least that's what it said when I was 16 um, I'm waiting on the results from my MRI I do see the orthopedic next week to get those results um, the results from the rotational CT were that um, it was an abnormal high rotation but from my interactions with other people in the Beyond the Measurement group on Facebook and my friend Kelly and some amazing bloggers and vloggers um, in the internet sphere, interweb, um, I've found that I am just below the mark for surgery. So I'm thankful for that and I hope that I can do physical therapy and um, other kinds of strengthening to... Um, not need surgery, but if I do, when I see Dr. Henderson in October, if um, his readings of those MRI results or those CT results are different, then I'll know um, what the next step will be, and and I'm going to do whatever um, feels right. And right now I'm doing a little better. I'm still having a lot of neck pain. I don't know if it can just be solved with a neck brace. Um, Kelly, a few other people have said that you know they wish they had done it sooner. Um, when they knew that they needed the surgery and they didn't wait three years or two years or four years or a year or whatever it was that they waited. Um, the pressure's down, so I don't know if Diamox is going to be something to help me, but it's definitely um, something still that I want to try. I need to talk to my doctor about Walter and jail because I do want to try that on my shoulder with um, inflaming and I have rib issues. So things are in the works, but here's what I'm learning is I'm learning to take each day as it comes and to not overdo it and this is something I've been trying to learn my whole life and it's not something I've done very good at I've not really accomplished this um, take it slow and take one day at a time it's kinda like oh my god today feels good I'm gonna just do and do and do and do and then crash and then when the next time I do that I do it again I'm trying to pace it out and it's a really, really hard thing to learn when you've been doing something one way your whole life. And a lot of things have changed in my life the last few years. It's like been an uproar of a complete turnover in my life with the weight loss and the haircutting and my father passing away and getting out of that house and actually being pushed out of that house and um, trying to coordinate living in, you know, what was a very, very large house for three people and two pets to um, a 1,400 square foot 
mobile home, which I love. I love my manufactured home. I am so grateful that my money came through from my car accident where I broke my leg um, to allow me to buy this home and fix it up with new carpet and some new flooring. Unfortunately, there's some other issues that I need to handle. Um, there's so many things. Uh, my aunt always said that her mom said that a house is a thief. And it is. Um, but it's my thief. It's my house. It's my roof. And it's my problems. And it's kind of nice to be, um, to know that it's mine. And I'm not accountable to anyone else for it. So if it goes shit, then it's my fault. And then I realize that. And I can't blame someone else. Because I've always played the blame game. And it's because most of the time it really was someone else's fault. Or, um, EDS's fault. I really learned to blame EDS for a lot of things. And I've been working on mantras and positive affirmations and listening to binaural beats to help with pain and I really just want to do everything as healing and natural as possible because I don't react well to medicines and I don't do well with procedures and it being a test subject with doctors really scares me because I was like that when I was younger and it's not something that I want my whole life to be. I don't want to be a research project for a doctor but I want them to help me and I think that the best way to help me comes around to the first thing which is braces I did convince my wonderful new occupational occupational therapist to um, order me or to recommend that the physiatrist order me um, a Bowerfield Omni train support shoulder shoulder support um, to hold my shoulder up because I really think it should be up there and then when it's there everything kind of falls where it should be but otherwise, it just doesn't. It... So then, now it doesn't want to do it. Oh, there we go. And my spine just went. But so, and I haven't shaved it and all that jazz. But anyway, I'm going to change it. I'm going to redo the video. Maybe that's what I should do. My hair looks too good to say no. To... Actually, it's not. I mean, I don't love how it looks short. And it needs to be shaped more, so this needs to, like, come up. But what I did do, if I can show you, is I shaved off the hair because the pain is right in here, and it kind of travels up and around to the back of my eyes sometimes, but usually it's it stays in this central location, and um, I have a lot of shoulder pain in this in this area, but um, this is where my pain is, and so in order to hi in order to help with that pain, I've been using my cannabis um, tincture oil mixture, and I've been putting it directly on the spot, and prior to that, the hair was causing so many problems, plus, it was like this weight pulling my head down, and it, I still, like, I, I move my head to move my bangs, I, I'm not quite willing to get rid of the framing of my face, but uh, eventually I might have to, because it's just... The hair is actually really problematic, and it's something I loved. I was looking at videos earlier. I had hair down to here. It was long, and it actually wasn't well done. I hadn't done it really nice at all. It was just about how I woke up, but I loved how the length of it, and I had wanted long hair my whole life, and now I'm chopping it off because of this pain and these problems, and, and I'm just learning to adapt the best that I can to this situation, and I am thankful to my friends and my family and other EDSers and potsies and chronic illness babes online and, and dudes, there ain't a lot of you, but there's a few that I've met and you seem really strong for someone dealing with so much and worrying about losing that strength, but we are all strong and we are all battling something just that takes it out of you. And so every little thing that you do, every little thing, whether it's getting up to go to the bathroom, or warming up a can of soup, whatever it is that you're able to do, and if it's more stuff, even better. Those are more gold stars that you get. But realize that you've accomplished something because although other people don't understand that that is a huge thing for us, it is. 
and I'm proud of you, and I know that there are others, and this is just not, this isn't it, you know, I think the things are going to get better, and I think the things will get easier, and I think that we'll all adapt to our situations, and it won't seem so hard, because it is hard, but we're all going to get there in the end, so love and light to you all and love and light to me if this video is just for me because I'm kind of a rambler and I have this headache that's starting from talking. I think that when I talk too much I get the headache which is really interesting and I mean I did get some ring splints I'm only wearing a few but thank God for Providence. Providence is the way to go they are literally the only group that are helping me. Anyone in the Providence system is helping me and in the Asante system I'm just getting hit with things and then with OHP I'm just getting hit with constant denials and constantly appealing and having to explain my situation and then the talking hurts. It hurts my head. I'm feeling the pressure actually grind. So I'm saying I haven't had a lot of pressure. Well, probably haven't talked for 20 minutes straight um, in a few weeks and when I'm at my support group and I talk for my 10-20 minutes Whatever it is, I take up a lot of times usually because I don't go for a while. But um, I'm I'm in a lot more pain from talking. So exerting the energy to speak causes this headache to to rise up in the head and come round. And but I'm so thankful that the migraine, the eye, the eye sensitivity, sound sensitivity, that that is just I fixed that. Something clicked with the with the collar on and. The weather changing and using the can and it just went together and I'm doing better but I'm still having a really hard time which is hard to understand sometimes but that's how it goes okay peace and love love and light hearts to you all